Mystic Timbers is an amazing wooden roller coaster at Kings Island. It stands around 109 feet tall, has over 3,200 feet of track, reaches a top speed of 53 miles per hour, and delivers one of the best overall rides of any wooden roller coaster. This coaster is one of Great Coaster International's best efforts and definitely a star attraction. This is our full-length, in-depth review of Mystic Timbers and our comments about what you can expect when you go to Kings Island to ride this coaster. Now, let's travel through the woods to find out what's in the shed. Mystic Timbers opened in 2017 and is located in the Rivertown section of Kings Island. It is one of three large-scale wooden roller coasters at the park, with the others being The Beast and The Dueling Racer. And of the three, Mystic Timbers is perhaps the best themed. It has an abandoned lumber company theme, which draws inspiration from the surrounding area. For those who do not know, Mystic Timbers theme involves the Miami River Lumber Company, which takes its name from the nearby Little Miami River. As you approach the ride, you will first see a large billboard-like marquee displaying the ride name and logo. You will see vines lining the sign's edges and going right down the middle. There is also an old truck right at the ride's entrance queue. But before you enter the queue, you will have to either leave your belongings with a non-rider or put them in a locker. As you enter the queue, you will walk under two signs, one with the words Miami River Lumber Company and the other with the words Shipping and Receiving and Loading to Right. After you walk under those signs, you make your way through the primarily wooden queue and pass several good theming elements, like multiple sheds and signs detailing the general history of the Miami River Lumber Company. As you make your way to the station, you walk past a large building known as The Shed. This section also has one of the best views of Kings Island's train, which goes directly past Mystic Timber's queue. You will then climb up some stairs into the station where you will encounter a little bit more theming, including some crates, barrels, and tools. You will also see one of Mystic Timber's three 12-car, 24-passenger trains. And these trains have a Miami River Lumber Company truck theme, which looks nice. After you have boarded your train, fastened your seatbelt, secured your lap bar restraint, and cleared dispatch, you take a right-hand turn out of the station to begin your ride. After you leave the station, you enter a brief section of straight track before making a left-hand turn over a little bunny hop and up onto the lift hill. As you climb the lift hill, you will actually go under another part of the ride, which creates an awesome effect. As you reach the top of the lift hill, you slow down a little to allow time for one of the other trains to clear from the layout. You then take a leftward swooping first drop, followed by a climb up into a brief airtime moment, which offers some nice laterals before continuing to climb into a more conventional airtime hill. Off that airtime hill, you take a left-hand turn into the main portion of the layout. You fly over an airtime hill, followed by a climb into another airtime hill. At the top of that airtime hill, you bank towards the right, followed by a banked left-hand turn. You then enter another banked airtime hill. You briefly straighten before climbing into another airtime hill, which banks towards the right. You make a quick turn towards the left, followed by a rightward banking climb up into a leftward swooping turnaround. And what's cool about this swooping turnaround is that it is completely enclosed in a tunnel. As you reach the bottom of that turnaround, you take a flatter left-hand turn before flying over a bunny hop, followed by a really good airtime hill. You then climb into another airtime hill, followed by a quick rightward banked turn. As you come out of that banked turn, you fly over a banked airtime hill, followed by a left-hand turn up into another airtime hill. Off that airtime hill, you fly over a kind of mini trick track double down before climbing up into a leftward banked airtime hill and into the final break run. That final banked airtime hill may end your actual ride, but the ride does not end there as you slowly roll into the shed. Before you fully finish your ride, you wait on the final break run listening to an announcement telling you to not go into the shed. But the announcement glitches and starts telling you to go in the shed. After the announcement ends, you enter the shed. As you enter the shed, you first pass a lightly themed enclosure containing multiple vines. You then stop for a moment in a heavily themed section of the enclosure. A radio turns on and plays a song fitting in with the Mystic Timbers theme. When the radio stops playing, you start moving past some screens displaying one of Mystic Timbers' three creature show scenes. You go past the screens and roll back into the station, thus completing your ride. Mystic Timbers is one of Kings Island's best roller coasters. It has an incredible layout, an interesting theme, and a cool, dark ride-like element. And Mystic Timbers has an amazing location, as its layout 
flies through the woods of Rivertown. As for the ride experience, Mystic Timbers is great towards the front of the train. You get some good floater airtime pops going over those airtime hills and bunny hops. But Mystic Timbers has a completely different vibe towards the back of the train, especially in the back row. A back row ride on Mystic Timbers is amazing. You are just thrown out of your seat as you go over some of those airtime hills. You also get some amazing lateral airtime over those banked bunny hops. While the front is good, Mystic Timbers is a back row ride. Each of those elements hits much more in the back row. And this coaster is incredibly smooth, especially for a GCI that opened in 2017. Kings Island has done an amazing job maintaining Mystic Timbers. Mystic Timbers also has an incredible setting in the Rivertown Woods. Most GCI roller coasters have a twister layout, but Mystic Timbers has an out and back layout. That out and back layout works well, and the coaster's setting only enhances the ride experience. But it is that setting that makes seeing the ride quite challenging. Other than the first drop and the airtime hill and the shed, you cannot see any of the rest of the layout from the park paths. In fact, the best way to see the coaster's layout is actually from the park's train, which offers some great visuals of the coaster flying through the woods. The fact that Mystic Timbers travels through the woods only enhances your sense of speed, making for a much better ride experience. Aside from the ride experience and layout, Mystic Timbers has an interesting theme. A mysterious supernatural creature looking to, through overgrowing vines, reclaim its land that the Miami River Lumber Company occupied. For those familiar with Twisted Timbers at King's Dominion, Mystic Timbers' general theming and queue experience have some similarities, down to the use of mysterious creatures and sheds in the queue. As for the shed, this on-ride theming element is quite good. And it should not, and does not, take away from the amazing ride Mystic Timbers delivers. In fact, the shed is actually a fun way to conclude your ride experience before returning to the station. The best way to experience Mystic Timbers, though, is to not overhype the shed and focus entirely on the actual ride experience. Once you reach the shed, just focus on the theming elements and see what creature you get. Overall, Mystic Timbers is an excellent roller coaster and might just be Kings Island's best wooden roller coaster. It is smooth, has some great airtime moments, and features a fun final moment before returning to the station with the shed. For a final score, we give Mystic Timbers a 9.5 out of 10. There is just so much to love about this roller coaster, including its incredible back row ride. With its location in the park, it also gives an amazing night ride. So, let us know in the comments below if you have ridden Mystic Timbers at Kings Island, and if so, what you think about it. And if you enjoyed this video, or are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for more coaster content like this. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more coaster reviews and amusement park content from Coaster Adventures, and we hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>